I've, I've just had my hair cut in a Moldovan slum. I don't know, I'm too happy, but. Hello, I'm Rianne and this is my husband, Ben. We both decided to sell our business, rent our house, quit our jobs, to travel the world for a whole year. Placed all the um, the steps, and it was all smashed up before. So they are starting to do something. They're starting to actually make a difference, really. So the hotel was built in 1983. It ran until uh, 1981 when the Soviet Union broke up. It then became a dollar store until 2006. When it got sold to a private company, after the state sold it, they couldn't afford to keep it. So it's just pretty much remained like this ever since. So now it's a bit of an eyesore. And also on the uh, on the board of bankrupt. Video. See, this is the water. This is the water fountain, and it is literally what he said it was like. So I can't. Apart from the water, the water is different. They've done that. I can't defend this. Obviously, this is this is what it is. I would like to state this is like a tiny part of Moldova. Not everything looks like that. If you look across the road, there's a lovely brand new building, a beautiful statue. It's just they've obviously not been able to knock this down and redo it. You can't judge Moldova from it. I think Moldova's got one of the nicest people and yeah there's a lot of poverty you see a lot of beggars on the stairs and that but which um capitals haven't i, I will say uh Chishnew as, as a city we'll try and get some out there's so many beautiful buildings and beautiful the people are beautiful so this is in the center but this is sort of just outside and you can see it's a little bit tucked away that video in particular does that over exaggerates the situation really I've got the Chisinau local lager. Like we said, you can always tell how cheap the country is by the beer. This was uh, 20 lei, so it's 25 to the pound. So yeah, it's like 85p. So far, this is the cheapest beer I've had on our travels, but only the second country. So. A little bit harsh, fairly smooth. That's a decent beer, that's a six out of 10. And Rian got a festival pound. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, We're actually walking under our underpass. This is how dark it is. There you go, we can see Ben. It's pretty scary, isn't it? Yeah. I thought, I thought it was going to whack me. To be fair, I will say that this underpass it does smell like piss, doesn't it? Imagine walking under that at night time, though. We had to go under one yesterday at a bus stop, and um, the guy told us to use our phone torch because it's that dark. This is a monument to the city, it's the main, sort of the main vocal point of the city. It's where all the shops start and all, all, it gets a bit busy around here. So Ben's just changed up some money and we're going to go to the market and we're both going to get an outfit for tonight. We're going to go out for date night, changing up 50 euros. Both of us are going to try and buy an outfit. So we'll add a top and bottoms and then a little accessory or for me if I buy a dress, it's a dress and accessory. We're going to see who can spend the least as well and then we're going to go out for a free course meal tonight so we're going to call it date night and see how much a date night costs with an outfit and a meal got my dress 150 that cost me so me and ben have gone off separately to find an outfit i've just got my dress and i want something i've only spent 150 and my dad 250 so i'm trying to find something else i'm not sure what i want have a look around. I don't want shoes because I can't really carry them. The dress is quite pretty. It says two times XL. I hope that's not right. I don't really like your filming here, so you've got to be careful. This market's massive, it's still going on. They've got like each section for women, boys, men, children. It even looks like they're selling school uniforms. This, this is the sort of thing. A large, you know, a large L. L? L, yeah. Like that one. And the old Paisley. She's got Aha. a secret stash. How, how much? Come on. Yeah, like that. 
How much? You want to try it on? No, I can't bother. L? L? L. L. Yeah, yeah. L, L's Back. good. Yeah. L. How much? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. much? <laughs> uh, money, how much? Uh, uh, uh. What is it? 380. Uh-huh. It's quite a lot. Is it? Yeah. That's like 20 quid. Okay. Um. Let's change it, let's see. Change it. 350. Ah, uh, no. 300. 4, 8. Put 300. We're, ne we're negotiating. Oh, we're negotiating. Really uh, That's all we got. So we've got, look. That's all we got. Don't make us walk away. 300. What's that? 4, 8, 12. Yeah? yeah. What have you got? Yeah. Sort that out. Yeah. 300. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Da. What's thank you? Da. Spicy <laughs> You speak Russian? Spicy <laughs> Here you go, I'll put it in here. Ah, better. Very best bag in the business. Thank Gra you. Thank you very much. You definitely got done. Yeah, we did, yeah. They've seen us coming. Well, that game went downhill really quick. I ended up having to help then. Yeah, and I blew my budget. <laughs> no, you spent, yeah, you spent your budget on one tour. Now I've got my dress for tonight and Ben's got a top for tonight. He wants to go and find someone to get his hair cut. So we're searching along the main high street looking for a barber's. And it's very hot, the sun is out gleaming today. So it's a nice sweaty walk. I've just done my hair cut in a Moldovan slum. I don't know how I'm too happy with it. What do you think about your haircut then, Ben? Well happy with it. Ten. Here you go. <laughs> it's trimmed your beard. Um, yeah. And it's trimmed beard. This, this haircut cost me five English pounds. It's like a full scale event, really. They trim my beard, wash my hair, just put the shower with me, I didn't, I didn't know what to do. Yeah, but how she washed his hair was so funny because back at home you have to sit back and they wash hair. They made him go forward in a tiny little thing yeah. and she was like, pushing his head down, going head down, and she kept looking at me because Ben couldn't understand her at all and I had to keep like, telling him what to do. Yeah, she's <laughs> translating for you. I think she thought I was fake with your lang uh, language. She thought you were a carer. Carer. She even trimmed his back hair a bit. And then she blow dried it and styled it a bit of jar. I she could have gone down to my ass. Nice. Yeah, well, I think it took about 40 minutes. It was an event, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good 40 minutes. Yeah, I thought, when, when she started... Just, down there. You know Shall when we? they start, like... You know when they start washing your hair in that? Yeah. You, you always think, as soon as they start washing your hair, you think, oh, it's going to be expensive. Do you not Whatever. get your hair washed normally? No, I've never had my hair washed in the past. Oh, it was dead. I went and had a film, I got about a minute of it, but she told yeah, me no, it's not camera. Not, no, no camera, so... I think they don't like their self being filmed, do they? Uh, shame, really, but you yeah. didn't miss much. <laughs> yeah, that was she bought. Thank you. What have you bought? <laughs> Good, isn't it? Because we're two fans. Look, look, we're laying there. <laughs> oh, that's, that's brilliant. I was going to get you one, but I didn't know what colour you would want. Rhea goes large. Well, my sister just texted me, and the girls have finally received their postcard. So if you watched, I think it's our food tour one, is when I post um, the postcard to the girls. So I think it took just under two weeks to get to them. But yeah, they got it, and they're, oh, they're super chuffed. So we're going to send another one when we get to Romania on Friday. Well, Saturday. We get there Saturday morning. We are just heading back to our apartment now. We're a bit shopping out and a bit tired, aren't we, Ben? We popped into our favourite little 
a little cafe and had another beer and drink, which cost us two pounds. Yeah. We're trying to find a bus to get home, but at the moment we're just walking home. We just got back to our apartment and at the bottom of the stairs they'd put our... But so it's obviously flown off the washing line. That was very nice of them. But these pants aren't us. <laughs> <laughs> Sniff them. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. So everyone like his haircut, shout out if you like Ben's haircut. Shout out Moldovian slum barbers. What are you doing? Come on. I mean, what am I doing? Put my shoes on. But go. So this is my dress. Six pounds from the market. I actually quite, I think it's quite nice. What do you think Ben? I think it's not bad for six quid. And it's got pockets. And I'm wearing these with them because it's quite see-through so I'm wearing Ben's boxes. Okay, let's see how long this takes. It is half eight and it should be easy we should walk down the road go to the bus stop get on the bus get off the bus get to our restaurant eat and go home but this will probably turn into midnight because we'll probably get uh, lost we get on the wrong bus it says 22 minutes we'll see all right you might see us in the restaurant in half an hour or you might see us in the restaurant two hours later there's a lot of stray dogs in moldova there's one here hello and they all look tagged on there is. You alright? Hello? So far we've got the bus okay. So far we've got the bus and got off. Right destination, we'll soon find out. Does it exist? Have you got it right for once? Is it going to be a night of hunting for somewhere to eat? There it is! So we made it here and we literally got here in 15 minutes so then wins. Yes and it looks amazing. It's like proper smoked house, meat, ribs, dirty fries. Oh it's good. We're going for a stout. This is a, but I like Guinness really, Guinness is stout. But this is um one they I don't know if they made it in-house or yeah there's speciality on beers here. So they probably made it in-house, so sure. I don't know if I will be done. What I do is I put the stick hands in front of you. Whoa! So for starters, we've got some nachos to share, which has got shredded chicken, chicken on it. So we finished our starters, our nachos, which were amazing. Now this is amazing. Ben's got like a meat platter. And now we've got quesadillas and a side of rice. Just finished our meal and it was lovely. It wasn't obviously a Moldovian restaurant it was run by americans but we wanted to make a bit steakhousey but for two alcoholic drinks one big starter like a big platter share starter thing, yeah share a thing two mains with a side each it was 20 pounds and we are so full we couldn't fit into that it was meant to be free course dinner but we were like nah maybe a mac flurry in the way <laughs> well it's the end of the night so we'll finish the video here and it'll be a new day tomorrow. We're off to Romania tomorrow, so we'll be able to show you our overnight coach trip for eight hours. So that'll be fun. Awesome. <laughs> we'll see you again tomorrow. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And Press the little bell button. You know what to do. And leave a comment down below. What do you think of Moldova? Do you think it looks as poor as it says it is? I don't think it does, but let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Ben, it's green. It's red. Ben nearly got. Ben, get back. What are you doing? Sorry, I thought it was green. What's going on here? Hey. Eh? What's it up to? Is, it, is that a draw there? <laughs> I hope so. He's reconnecting, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. What the fuck? See it sparking? Yeah. What the hell? We're here in the Chisholm New State Circus. The venue opened in 1981, but it closed down in 2004 due to economic hardship from the collapse of the Soviet Union and also poverty in Moldova, where there was just no room for a circus. At its peak, yeah, at the state of the art facilities, it was the top venue in all of the region. It had animal training, it had rehearsal studios, it had a 40 foot ring, it had room for 1900 people. At its peak, it done 56 performances in one year. 
which is um, it's just unbelievable. It's more than one a week. It's such a beautiful venue, just left here derelict, and it has been for about some 17 years now, and they've done nothing with it. There was a small period of time, I think one year, when they just tried to um, try to get it going again, again, but I don't think it worked out. Oh. I don't want anything. Some gazelles. I don't want anything decent. Oh yeah, she's going down on her knees. 